Where am I? Was I unconscious? You saved me there. My name is Oswald. I'm a scholar. You must be a traveler. Hmm. I'm looking for someone. I'm sure you have your own reasons for traveling. So what do you say we help each other out for a bit? It's the only logical choice, and my magic is sure to be of use. You've chosen well. All things in this world have a source. Nothing begets nothing. Follow the chain of cause and effect, and it will lead you to the answer you seek. For the record, you, Oswald, plead not guilty. Is that correct? <sighs> the facts are thus. Upon extinguishing the fire, the bodies of your wife and daughter were found in the rubble. They were nearly charred beyond recognition. A gruesome sight. I'm sure you agree. Thus the court accepts, without objection, immolation as the cause of death. However, there is one last inexplicable detail. Nothing one could reasonably consider the cause of the conflagration was found at the scene. Ergo, the fire ought not to have happened at all. Absent the use of magic, that is. <laughs> you were a scholar of magic, weren't you, Oswald? Is that a mere coincidence? Hmm, I think not. Having conducted a thorough investigation of the scene, the court holds the following to be true. You, Oswald, were the only one capable of starting such a fire that night. In the sacred name of Alathan the Scholar King, the court hands down the following verdict. Oswald v. Van Stein. We find you guilty of the murder of your wife and daughter, for which you are sentenced to life imprisonment on Frigid Isle. Do you have any last words? The man who took everything from me. Shall die by my hand. I swear it.
frigid isle. A solitary island in the far northern reaches of the sea. Some call it the edge of the world. Blanketed in snow all through the year. <sighs> the nearest continent is due east. Four days journey by sea. Even on the largest vessel. Even then, the fierce blizzards at sea can make a wreck of the mightiest ships. Trips to and from this accursed place are heavily regulated. This place holds all mainlanders found guilty of the most heinous crimes. It held over 300 of us at its peak. In its 80-year history, none have escaped. Or rather, I should say, the deplorable treatment of the prisoners ensures that lives end before sentences do. I have survived for 1,879 days. But neither the unforgiving climate, nor the ravages of time, shall extinguish the fire in my breast. Another frigid day in hell, eh, Professor? This is? It's your little notebook. It never leaves your hands, does it? <laughs> oh, don't look at me like that. I'm only borrowing it. You were quite the scholar, weren't you? Yes, this notebook could be worth quite a lot. I'm sure it'd fetch me a tidy pile of cigarettes. You're welcome to take it back, of course. But you'll have to fight me for it. Take it back. I've got no use for your filthy scribblings anyhow. Help! Guards! He's gonna kill me! What's all this about? It's him. He attacked me.
Well, if it isn't Oswald, our magical murderous scholar. <laughs> How do you like the new toy I gave you, Professor? <laughs> it's a fine little muzzle, isn't it? Keeps you from speaking those spells you love so much. You're the only one who has the honor of wearing it, I'll have you know. You should be kissing my feet. <laughs> What's that look for? <sighs> I know defiance when I see it, and I'll have none of it. I'd love to hear what you sound like. I really would. When you're begging for your life, that is. <laughs> Thirteen seconds. Thirteen seconds from the time a prisoner calls for help, to the guard's response. At least some valuable information's come of all this. One warden, and thirty-four guards, for two hundred ninety-two prisoners. Over time, I've learned much about the way the prison, and the people within it, work. And all of that knowledge shall inform my eventual escape. An escape for which the plan is written in this notebook, using a cipher, naturally. I've revised said plan numerous times these last five years, and polished it to a fine sheen. Only three pieces of the puzzle remain. The first, an escape route. For this, I have chosen a passage that leads beneath the prison. This passage is overlooked even by the guards themselves, and it leads directly out of this place. I must conduct a more thorough review of it, and soon. The second? Suitable clothing. Once I escape, I'll be exposed to the elements. The cold will claim me in minutes if I am clad in nothing but these rags. The third and final? An accomplice. To escape on my own would be to rely on my own assumptions. I require the help of another with intimate knowledge of the prison's inner workings. With these three pieces in place, my plan shall move that much closer to completion. At which point, only its execution shall remain. Wake up, human filth, to work with you!
I understand this island was once dotted with mines. Entire mountains were reduced to rubble for ore. And the prison was built atop the wreckage. To this day, there remains phosphor buried in the fridge of Earth. It's immensely flammable, and sells for a fair bit of coin. So the prisoners are forced to mine it, and the guards line their pockets with the proceeds. Mine scum! Keep those hands moving! I said, keep moving, unless you'd rather freeze to death. What's wrong with you? I can't move anymore. I'm too cold. Don't you go soft on me, criminal filth. Need I remind you that you were sent here to atone for your misdeeds? So beg whatever God you serve for forgiveness and dig, you useless little mole. Your life is worthless compared to the precious phosphor you cleave from the earth. And believe you me, we'd burn you instead if you were anywhere near as easy to set a light. Do you understand? Answer me! Warden, sir, is already dead. An unfortunately common sight. We are adaptable creatures. Any environment, no matter how horrific, can be made ordinary. Forced labor is followed by a vanishingly small window of free time. It is in this free time that I review the remaining pieces of my plan. They are three. The first, an escape route. The prison is as old as it is massive. There are bound to be gaps in awkward seams. Perhaps I can glean a hint or two from someone with intimate knowledge of the island's history. The second, suitable clothing. One they call the Provisioner sells the clothing I'll need to survive. But first, I need to find them. I'll start by asking any prisoners who might know this Provisioner. The third and final piece. An accomplice. My accomplice cannot be an ordinary prisoner. I must find someone capable of enacting my escape plan. Then all that will remain 
is the plan's execution. So many guards watching the cafeteria during this shift. Now is my chance to find an accomplice. This one won't do. Skulking around and sizing up all the prisoners. <clears throat> ah, right. You can't speak on account of the muzzle. I've been watching you. You know, for the last five years. In all that time, you've been feigning indifference when you surveil the place, right? <sighs> the other prisoners, the guards, everyone and everything. Watching for minor differences, like you're making some sort of audit. As far as I'm concerned, only two types of prisoners watched silently for five years. Hunt and people plotting an escape. That's it. <clears throat> if it's the former, I know someone who can help. But if it's the latter... So, which one are you, Professor? Shake your head if you're the former, or not if you're the latter. <laughs> so, my eyes didn't deceive me after all. You're quite clever, I'll say that. Now, for my formal request, I want in on your plan. I can be of use to you. You'll see. I got lots of valuable information I'll only share with a close confidant. collected it over my long years in this place. That's why they call me Emerald the Informant. I know my information is good. <laughs> you could do far worse, Professor Jailbreak. Only someone of considerable wit could have figured out my plot through mere observance. Further, he is correct that I have need of his wares.
I can certainly use him to my advantage. I knew you'd see it my way. This horrid island is four days' journey from the nearest shore. Even if our escape proves successful, we'll need a ship capable of making the journey to the mainland. I have set my sights on the vessel carrying the inspectors, who visit the prison on an erratic schedule. Thus, I need to know when it is due to arrive next. The ledger containing that information is fiercely guarded. I stand no chance of laying eyes on it. But all I need to know is the date. For that will be the date we make our escape. Possible though. I'll contact you once I have it. <clears throat> One more thing. Get me the key to this muzzle. Can't make any promises there, seeing as it was made just for you. <laughs> Let's just pray luck is on our side, eh? Confidant? Hmm. The plan is in motion. I just need to let the informant do his work. Have you found the answer? <laughs> to work, maggots! Move!
I must find a prisoner familiar with the underground passage. Don't believe this. <laughs> the underground passage. I don't just know it. I helped build it. Don't go asking me details. Best I can say is there ought to be a labor report for it on file in the library.
This must be the labor report that prisoner spoke of. Whoever wrote it spared no detail in recording the construction of the passage. And they were a prisoner as well. Must be why no one gave it so much as a second glance. <laughs> Aha. There's an entry to the passage right by the guard station. All is proceeding as planned. I've studied the tunnel's construction, and I am certain it is suitable for my escape. Back to your cells! Now! Seems I'm out of time. Back to the hole, then. Oswald. Have you found the answer? No, Harvey. Though I have a theory. Behold this small flame. Nothing exceptional. Yet if I apply the equation I have here, its intensity is compounded. And in theory, its power is multiplied. However, as long as it remains a flame, its power is limited. Using equations to amplify magic powers? This is incredible. You're a genius, Oswald. The one true magic. You're one step closer to it, to standing alone atop the summit of magic scholarship. Though, I must warn you not to grow too fond of the idea, for I will surpass you. <laughs> Time to work, you worthless sacks of meat! Up and out! So you're the muzzled scholar I've heard so much about. You look like you need something, same as everyone else who comes to see me. Hmm. The name's Bale. Most call me the Provisioner. I can secure most anything people ask for. Not for money, given our circumstances. But everyone has something of value on them, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so, he won't hand it over for free. Though, if I can find his weakness... I'd better scrutinize some of the other prisoners. A 
don't believe this prisoner, no. Hmm. I don't believe this prisoner. Here it is. Surely this is the provisioner's weakness. Let's see how he responds. Finally come to pay, have you? Hmm. Uh, what's that scrap of paper in your hand? What? In... Where did you get this? What? Whatever you want, it's yours. Just swear you won't speak a word of this to anyone. My plan proceeds apace. This clothing ought to keep me from freezing to death. Back to your cells, you animals! That will have to wait. Back to the hole for now. Oswald. Have you found the answer? <sighs> I've reached a dead end. There's just one last piece missing. I've explored every possible avenue, but it's nowhere to be found. What could possibly be powerful enough to serve as the source of the one true magic? You've done enough, Oswald. Well done, truly. Now, allow me, the great Harvey, to provide the final peace for you.
What's this? I don't recall giving you permission to speak to one another. Ah, uh, you misunderstand, Warden. This isn't what it... It's your lucky day, scum! Speak another word, and I will bury you in the very pit in which you toil! Do I make myself clear? Club, right? I'll see you at the storehouse behind the mess hall. Good to see you, Confidant. It sure wasn't easy, but I nicked it. The inspection ledger. Better still, the inspectors are due to arrive tomorrow. <sighs> All we need to do is follow your plan to the letter. I can't believe they made it. Aye, the gods are in a foul mood yet again. Sure to be another horrible day in hell. The inspector should be arriving soon. Prison patrols will be short-handed while they ready a welcome party for the ship. That leaves a small window in which to begin executing our plan. It's time. First, we need to make our way to the underground passage. Let's <laughs> go. 
The entrance to the underground passage should be just about here. Excellent work, Confidant. Onward. But first, I have a little something for you. The key to that muzzle of yours. <laughs> I'm locked up now, sure. I was quite the thief outside these walls. Hmm. Now I finally get to hear your voice. Quite the talker. There's no time. Keep moving. <clears throat> oh, and uh, thanks for the key. You're real warm and fuzzy, aren't you? Save the thanks for when we make our escape. Off we go, confidant. Finished. 
This is the informant's turf. No! The ladder's been destroyed. Damn! We were so close. The cuts look fresh. This was done recently. I fear I've underestimated our opponent. That you did. At long last, the scholar speaks. Hello, Oswald. <laughs> I commend you for making it this far. You even managed to remove the muzzle. But your choice of ally was your downfall. We've been watching Emerald for some time now. I suspected you two would work together. <laughs> I'm sorry, Confidant. I should have known. Save your breath. The fault is mine. So many have tried, 
and every last one will die a tragic death. And so it would be my honor to put you back in your place. Out of my way. I need a plan. Found a Do I have to? I need a plan. Pierce that winds of frost. Calculations complete. 
complete. Fire. better fighter than I expected. That won't be a problem, though. Based on my calculations, we'll still make it. What are you chattering on about? I'll cut out your tongue! <clears throat> this one's for me. Do I have to? This should hold you. No. Fire. wasn't in my calculations. <clears throat> Thinking time. Use this. <clears throat> now then. This one's for me. in my calculations. <clears throat> this one's for me. Do I have to? <clears throat> Thinking time. I will set in pursuit of knowledge. Fire. But you finish. Oof. <laughs> 
do I have to? That's that. Thinking time. This one's for me. Well done. I will set things right. Pierce that. With the frost. I've gained valuable insight. Looks like there's more rats where these came from. your way out. We have to keep moving. Where exactly? This is the end of the road. No. I have the answer. Flames. Reduce this wall to ash. I think that'll do, Confidant. We have to go. The hardest part is still ahead. found the answer. No answers today. And the sun hangs low. Right on the lane of likely preparing dinner. I should be getting back.
Long have I toiled in your shadow. But now, I've taken all that once was yours. And in due course, I shall complete the one true magic. There he is! It's Oswald! You bastard! This, Oswald, is my answer. <laughs> Ever since that day, a fire has burned within my breast. Harvey. You took everything from me. Professor. Hey, Professor Oswald! Give me a sign. Are you alive in there? I'm fine. You gotta stay alert. I'm counting on you. There's light up ahead. Let's go. Valuable insight. We've done it! We've escaped that godforsaken prison! Don't celebrate yet. They know we've escaped. Then what do you propose we do next, Professor? And I'd like an answer before we freeze to death. The last part will be the hardest. Escaping the island. The inspector's vessel should be docked at the pier. And yet... The warden likely told them about our escape. Let's see what we can learn about the situation. Come, we make for the ship. Fire. 
all according to plan. Do I have to? That. No. I'm done. This is the informant's turf. Now then, found a weakness. Do I have to? This should hold you. Hmm. All according to plan. Good one, Professor. That. I need a pop. Feel my wrath! I've gained valuable insight. Now then. Fire. All according to fire. Do I have to? I'll fight in a bit. Think it. Fire. Finished. I've seen worse methods. Did you hear? There are prisoners on the loose. Put everyone on patrol! Hunt them down! <coughs> Damn, you were right. Even the inspectors have heard about us. What do we do now? Alter our plans. There's no other choice. We can't stow away on their ship now. We'll make other arrangements. Other arrangements? Uh, do you see another boat out here? <sighs> there they are! Seize them! They found us! Professor, we've got company. That was inevitable. We have to prevent this from causing further commotion. Let the experiment begin. Now then. Fire. Burn. Do I have to? I need a plan. Pierce the hands of frost. <laughs> well done. Feel my wrath! Pierce the hands of frost. 
study harder. We have to find somewhere to hide. They'll run us down too quickly out here. There's a shack just there. Let's go. What's the plan, Professor? They're bound to catch us. We can't use the inspector's ship as we planned. We'll need something else. Hmm. If you have any bright ideas, do share them. Quickly! I'm freezing my rocks off here. <laughs> what did you just say? What? I'm freezing my rocks off? That's it? You're a fantastic assistant, Emerald. Well, my freezing rocks are gonna save us? No. The straw over there is. What could you possibly do with a bit of straw? If we have no ship, then we will make our own. Surely you're joking. Crossing the ocean on a boat of straw? You think us otters? Nay, we are human and have the intellect to prove it. Storm of ice, arise. I give you our ice boat. A foundation of buoyant straw beneath a thick sheet of ice. A boat. I can hardly believe my eyes. <laughs> this might actually work. I once heard of a town blanketed in snow and divided by a river. The people there laid batches of straw down in the river and splashed water atop them until an icy bridge formed. Entire horse-drawn carriages crossed over the ice bridges without incident. And I wouldn't have recalled it if not for you. Yes. Yes, that should prove seaworthy. And there's no chance of the boat melting in this cold. Surprisingly sturdy. Of course it is. Do not doubt my ice magic. Given the season, the current should carry us to the mainland.
But one thing still worries me. They'll continue their pursuit, even if we manage to reach the mainland. In my initial plan. I hope to sink the inspector's vessel before we reach shore. It was to look like an accident. But I'm sure we will presume dead. Clearly, we won't have that luxury now. Hmm. I've been meaning to ask you something, Professor. Go on. You were brought in for killing your wife and child. Did you do it? That doesn't concern you. I've been on Frigid Isle a long time. I've met more prisoners than I care to remember. But you... You're not like the rest of them. something different about you. Stop, Professor. Huh? I said stop. <sighs> I can't do this. I can't go with you. A boat of ice? Is this some sick joke? It's four days' journey to the mainland, if we're lucky. <laughs> we'll likely freeze to death by then. You can take your chances aboard this frozen dinghy, but I... I will be commandeering the inspector's ship. That won't be easy with everyone out there looking for you. They'll deploy fleets from Frigid and the mainland, trapping you at sea. You've a better chance of crossing safely on something small like this. <laughs> well, I won't know that until I try, will I? <laughs> Do what you will. So long, Oswald. I won't mourn him. This was always, shall we say, a friendship of convenience. Watch the boat! No! I... Uh, uh. I said do it now! I have very little patience!
Oswald was right. I'll never make it out on this ship. Not just arrest me again. Only one thing left to do. They made me mine Phosphor till I spit blood. So, I might as well put it to good use. Well, Professor. <sighs> Only one puzzling fact remained. Emerald. Why did you set fire to the Inspector's ship? His actions drew the attention of the guards allowing my small boat to escape unnoticed. And not only that, I doubt anyone is chasing me now. They have no way of knowing that Emerald and I split up. They're likely to assume that I was also aboard the Inspector's sinking ship. Emerald's final act was... Utterly. <sighs> well, some mysteries never get solved. An emptiness has settled in my breast. So I keep rowing, as far as my arms will take me, wherever that may be. Welcome home, dear. Rita. You must be exhausted. It wasn't so bad. Oh, Oswald. How I long to be with you, to ease your pain. To get you looking presentable again. To make you some goulash with Elena? Rita, I... Alas, my dear, I cannot. You have unfinished business. So you cannot stay here. For it is not yet time. I love you, my dear. Rita. You're awake. Welcome to the small fishing village of Cape Cold. <sighs> you 
You're one of the prisoners from Frigid Isle, aren't you? Found you collapsed on the beach, nearly frozen to death. Only the faintest hint of breath in you. In my 30 years looking after this little finger of land, I've seen three prisoners wash up from Frigid. But you're the first to do so alive. You're a quiet one. Has your mouth frozen shut as well? I need food. Scholar, are you not? <laughs> Forgive me, but I could not resist to look through your personal effects. I too am a scholar, though not one of any renown, mind. Here, take this robe. It's a damn sight better than your prison rags, eh? Thank you kindly, good man. Come now. This is the least I could do. But from here on out, I ask that you lead an honorable life. Everything from me. This fire in my breast shall never be extinguished, and you shall die by my hand. I swear it. So, what are you waiting for? Let's go. <laughs> Stay right where you are, little doggy. We won't kill you. We just want to see how sharp our new blades are. What do you want? Got something to say, do you? Why don't you mind your own business? Things were just getting good. Let the show begin. Time to shine. Yeah. Good effort. Ugh, darn. I need a plan. Let me look at you. Here I go. 
Bring it on. Just getting warmed up. Hmm. All in a day's work. Th there's no need to get angry. It's just a mangy mutt. Damn it, you'll regret this. Hello there. You aren't hurt, are you? You must be hungry. Here, have this. This little one is my friend. Thank you for protecting her. I'm Throne, and I'm on the hunt for two particular individuals. Are you a traveler? Would you happen to need a hand on your journey? All right. Not again. Not this stench. Every time I breathe it in, it feels as though my very lungs are rotting. The stench of blood. Hurry up, Throne! They're coming! Damn it! The bleeding won't stop! Don't waste your breath. Keep running! We made it. We should be able to get up top through here. What's the matter, Scarachi? It won't open. The damn thing won't open. Rats finally caught up to us. Damn it all! You catch your breath, Tony. Sorry, Tony. Now then, it's time we welcomed our guests. Do this thing. Be calm. My turn. There. Come on. Death of hell. What to do? My turn.
waste of time. I just don't get it. Why is this door locked? Get up, Donnie. It's time for you to work your magic on that lock. Donnie. No, no, no. Don't tell me he's dead. This job is a nightmare. Damn it! What the hell is going on? Someone set us up. Our plan was perfect. We slipped into the Diamante estate and got what we came for. There was no way they could have known to have all those guards waiting outside. Unless someone squealed. And only a few of us knew the plan. Which means there's likely a traitor among us. You can't be serious. Who sell us out like that? We can figure that out later. She's right. We have to get out of here first. Come on. There are other ways out of this place. Let's go. gonna stand in my way my turn be calm come on let's go ready thanks Be calm. <laughs> Never underestimate a snake. Wait. What the hell? What's another one of those rats doing here? <sighs> they must have known we come this way. What do we do now? Wait here. I'll handle this. I'm going to give our friend a little surprise. Good night. Nice work. Your skills are second to none. No wonder you're the best in the nest. He's fast asleep. Didn't even see it coming. Finish him, Throne. No. I'm in no mood for meaningless bloodshed. <sighs> What's your backup plan then? Cheese? 
Because you're gonna need something to keep him busy when he comes chasing us down this tunnel. <sighs> That's enough, Skarachi. We have to go. Fine. Finally, a way out. Time to say goodbye to these rat-infested sewers. Hold on. We aren't in the clear yet. Yeah, we've got company. Throne, if you got that cheese, now's the time. You idiot. Enough about the cheese. If we don't focus, we'll be as holy as cheese ourselves when they're through. Right. Let's go. These rats just don't give up. It's up to us to exterminate them. Cleaning time. There! Come on, let's go! Be calm. Huh? of the dark characters. Come on! I'm sick of this! That, you lousy vermin. <sighs> well, what's that look about? You think I'm just fooling around instead of pulling my weight? That it? I didn't say that. Well, I wouldn't have to fool around on my own if someone would give me a hand. If you know what I mean, Throne. <laughs> give yourself a hand. Are you coming with us, or do you want some privacy?
made it. Ah, how I missed these filthy little streets. I would have hated to kick the bucket down there in those sewers. about this. But, but we... we didn't do nothing wrong. I'd rather die than face their punishment. We don't have a choice. Not with these collars on. So long as those two hold our chains, we have to obey them. That's crazy talk! I ain't no dog! Quiet, Scarachi. There might still be rats around. Let's split up. They're less likely to find us then. I'll deliver the mark to father. All right. Be careful out there. The Black Snakes. A band of ruffians with connections to the realm's richest circles. They control the town's wealth and power. And I am one of their minions. My job is to steal and clean. What a filthy town. Time to go home. Good night. <laughs> Fool. Fool. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Good night. Good night. <laughs> Fool. 
fool. Good night. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Good night. A good dagger is not unlike one's own hand. Flexible, daft, and capable of taking a life with a flick of a wrist. Just like you, Throne. Thank you, Father. We call this man Father. He's the leader of the Black Snakes. A first-class assassin who oversees all of our jobs. The mark, father. What is that staff? I hope it was worth Donnie's life. It is simply what we were asked for. <sighs> our client said this would be our last deal, seeing as word of our plan got out. It would appear there is a traitor among us. There may very well be. Perhaps our nest is in need of cleaning if such filth is lurking about. You have always been different, Throne. Better than the others. You are the only one who has inherited my skills. Which is why I have nominated you as my successor. Do not disappoint me. Lately this collar feels tighter than usual, Father. You want me to loosen it then? I couldn't if I wanted to. My key alone is not enough. Now speak of it no more. It is a badge of honor, one worthy of a true snake. Yes, Father. Very good, child. I hope you are prepared for tonight's gathering. You know what awaits those who disappoint Mother.
I see my adorable little snakes are all here. Let us begin our delightful gathering. We call this woman Mother. She is our other leader and manages the guild's members. She values order and discipline above all. Those who fail her are mercilessly punished and disposed of. Mother, father, they are our leaders, the forces that move the black snakes. Throne, my dear. Would you come here, please? Garachi tells me that today's failure falls on your shoulders. <sighs> I worry for our future, dear. The Black Snakes have long controlled this town, but Father and I aren't as young as we used to be. The Snakes will need a new leader to guide them. A successor, as it were. Father has high hopes for you, Throne. But in my eyes, you are still lacking. Now then, time for your punishment. You want Mother's Whip, don't you, Throne? Oh, not a peep. A few lashes is enough to bring others to tears. But I suppose you'll need more encouragement. <laughs> you lost us a wealthy client! You've sullied my good name, you wretched worm! Not even a whimper? Let's see how long you can keep that up! Mother. Can't you see I'm busy, Piero? It wasn't Throne's fault we failed. It was mine. If anyone deserves punishment, it's me. <sighs> oh, Piero. How noble of you to come forward. I'm moved to tears. Yes, what a fine reaction. Just what I was hoping for. In honor of your selfless act, I will call an early end to tonight's meeting. Oh, you can't be serious, Mother! Oh, things were just getting good! Silence, you abominable reptiles! Now listen well. I will be leaving our little nest for a spell. Our family is in need of fresh blood. I expect all of you to take good care of our home until I return. Come, Piero. There is a long night ahead of us. Piero. These chains can't be severed.
Mother has whipped us since before I can remember. I st I steal what our clients want and eliminate those who stand in their way. That is how I've always lived. It makes me wonder, is pain the only thing I've forgotten? Dark evenings are followed by hollow mornings. The cycle repeats again and again and again. Here, eat this. It's a dried strawberry. I envy you. Living without a collar, bound to no one. Free to roam wherever you please. I see you made a new friend. I brought you breakfast. You haven't eaten yet, I assume. Thank you. Want one? At least I can do for the best in the nest. No thanks. I don't smoke. Maybe you should. People like us need to take joy wherever we can find it. I want to live a long life. <laughs> then you're in the wrong line of work, Throne. Life here is like a cigarette, gone in a puff of smoke. <laughs> you can say that again. Do what we can to survive in this stump. Living with a collar around our necks from our parents. <sighs> I want to rise in the ranks and get my hands on some real money. Buy good liquor, good smokes, fall asleep in a big bed. I want to enjoy my life before I bite the dust. Sounds nice. What do you want, Throne? What do I want? We have to get going. Time for work.
There you are, Throne A. I have a job for you, concerning our little traitor. Who is it? Scarachi. How can you be sure? He was seen meeting with Diamante. They planned to destroy me and take the Black Snakes for themselves. What are my orders? Scarachi is on his way to the Diamante Estate as we speak. Sneak in there. Kill them both. Scarachi too? Death to traitors. That's the rule. <sighs> However, Diamante is wary after our last break-in. Security will be tighter. There is a way in, but... Tell me. Diamante craves the pleasures of the flesh and often invites women to his estate to sate those desires. You could disguise yourself as a brothel girl to get close to him. You're no stranger to using your feminine wiles, right? I doubt I could convince anyone in these clothes. We are thieves. If there is something we want. We take it. Understood, Father. I will find myself a suitable outfit to sneak into the Diamante estate. Very good, child. I must leave town to attend business elsewhere. When you have finished your job, come and join me in Winterbloom. <sighs> Do not disappoint me, Throne. Now to find a disguise. I must find a costume worthy of the role. A brothel girl's clothes would do nicely. Take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. My disguise is complete. 
Now, to enter the estate. I'll take that. I'll take that. summoned by Lord Diamante to entertain him this night. Another brothel, girl. And a pretty one at that. How about entertaining us instead? I'm sure you'll find us more satisfying than the Lord himself. My apologies, but I doubt you boys could afford my talents. <laughs> Get moving. better. Now then, before I overstay my welcome. One soldier outside. I must make quick work of him. I have to find Diamante and Scaracci as soon as possible. Good night. <laughs> Time to clean up the filth. Ready? <laughs> Too slow. Cleaning time. <laughs> My turret. But I will. <laughs> and so it goes. Time. 
what to do. <laughs> Cleaning time. Playtime over. Take this. All tidied up. He's dead. But why? And Diamante, too. You wield your dagger just like father. I'd expect nothing less from the best in the nest. Piro. Oh, this? You were taking too long, so I decided to clean up for you. Did father ask you to do this too? Not quite. You see, there was never a traitor to begin with. What? He told you that Scarachi was the traitor, didn't he? He said to come to the Diamante estate and kill them both, right? You see, father told me that you were the traitor. And he told Scarachi that I was the traitor. But why? Because that's the kind of parents they are. They planned this whole thing. We're supposed to kill each other off until only the best of us survives. That's how they choose a successor. That job was all part of the plan, too. <sighs> Donnie was just eliminated from contention earlier in the process. No. The Black Snakes must change. When mother and father's power wanes, people will jump at the chance to take them down. That's why they need to find a worthy successor, no matter what it takes. And that successor will be me, head of the Black Snakes. I'll be the one controlling this town from the shadows. And I'll do whatever I must to get there. Don't do this. I don't want to fight you. I'm sorry, Throne. Piero. Has your dagger not tasted enough blood already? Piero. What to do? <laughs> My turn. 
scheming time. Ready? What to do? Ready? My turn. My turn is over. Afraid of the dark. Stop this madness, Pillow. There's no reason for us to fight. Oh, but there is, Thule. You are Father's favorite. I cannot be his successor as long as you live. I must kill you. It's the only way I'll ever be free of this god's forsaken place. I understand, Piro. But I refuse to die here. You really are the best in the nest. Ready? My turn. Cleaning time. Not bad. I'll take this. What to do? Ready? What to a swift hoop hero? <laughs> My turn. <laughs> this is far enough for me. Game time. <laughs> Ready? Cleaning time. What to do? You're finished. I'll take this. Ready? You're finished. This is far enough for me. My turn. Ready? My turn. But I watch What to do? Not bad. I'll take this. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> All tidied up. <laughs> Not again. Stench of blood. You got me good. I should have known. I was no match for the best in the nest. It's up to you now, Throne. You have to be the successor. That's not what I want. Every time I breathe it in. It feels as though my very lungs are rotting. I feel sick. What then? 
What do you want, Throne? I'm tired, Pyro. I just want to be free. To go wherever I want to go. Free, huh? So, but how can you be free with that collar on? Our chains can't be severed. Not ever. You're wrong. I'll sever them and claim freedom with my own two hands. <laughs> if anyone can do it, you can. Right. Throne. Hero. Hero. For the first time in my life, I know what I want. I want to be free. But first, I need to rid myself of this collar. And to do that, I need two keys. Mother holds one of them. But she left in search of new members. I must find her if I want that key. Father holds the other. He has gone to Winterbloom. wishes me to be at his side during his next job. Finding him will be easy. Killing him will be much harder. But I must eliminate them both if I am to get those keys. Where to first? For the first time, I cannot wait to see mother and father. Well then, let's go.